my unfinished projects is the hole for the appliance garage where we've removed our microwave and have left a big hole and set ourselves up with an appliance garage with appliances that we would rather have like my KitchenAid and the air fryer. I found this plastic, I think it's like a divider for like a cubicle at Ikea in Austin for $5 in the clearance section. It's very thick, it's very sturdy, it's just not white. My plan is to cut this plastic to the size I need and sand it so that it has a frosted look to it. The other option is to use like a frosted paint, which I've used in some of my oval windows in the bathroom previously. I've just hacked a couple of little pieces off. It cuts kind of nicely. It doesn't seem to like split out like a thinner, cheaper plastic would. It's kind of funny. It smells like, um, like one of those like nail salons. And uh, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it bent my little blade here. And now my testing sort of cut here is at a wonky angle. So we're gonna have to deal with this right now. Let's try again with a different kind of saw. All right, well, that's a bummer. I, um, I got, I couldn't support the plastic, the acrylic, and hold this down and push the saw. So I've cracked this corner. Now, we've made this so that there's allowances and I need to cut it this way anyway, but I'll need to be careful because I get one mistake and then I'm looking for new plastic. Now we're cutting the short side and hopefully with some support, I can um, not chip it out a second time. What do you think of that? I think it needs sanding. It's got a couple little chips in it, but you won't see them. This is a quick test fit. So what you got there? This is my stash of different grits of sandpaper. My idea here is to hide the appliances that are going to be stored behind it, mostly by um, being able to sand it so that it looks frosted. Uh, I might need to start with a rough and then get um, like to a finer grit of sandpaper, but it's all experimental and we're gonna see how this looks, even after a few minutes of sanding. It's opaque but coarse and you wanna go opaque but I fine, right? I wanna go right? opaque but fine, but what's interesting here is I could probably just sand one side and use that on the inside. So this, because it's next to the sink, will still be smooth and very wipeable. I'm gonna try some hand sanding here at different grits. And then I might actually on this side, because this is actually acrylic, um, it doesn't seem to be really clogging my paper very much. I'm wondering if I could actually mechanically do this and speed this process up. And I might actually get a more even finish. I don't really know. It would certainly help on the edges, which are pretty, pretty sharp. Maybe gloves? Yeah, would you mind grabbing me my leather gloves, please? I have a brand new pair now. Will do. Oh, they're so new. Well, if they stay white for long, at least they don't have poison ivy on them like the other ones did. That looks nice. Well, so this was the 60, and then I did 150. That has a nice opaque look. Let me take, that was about 30, 40 seconds with the mechanical sander. And I didn't feel like it was like hot gluing the plastic to um because this is actually acrylic it just turns to this nasty powder so i'm going to take another couple of minutes on this i want to practice like see what i can come up with on an edge this is just a quick and dirty sort of test piece but it's taken that razor sharp edge right off <laughs> to give me a little reprieve and see what denatured alcohol does to take some of that dust off. Got a couple of blemishes I need to still sand out. I'm wondering if I want to even go finer than 150. I certainly have it. Yeah, so that's the idea. And what we want to do is mark where the pre-existing holes were. I do have a couple of 
chips that I have to tune up. Explain it to me. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, I don't like it like this. Um, I don't know if it's because it's shiny. I don't, I don't know. But we were marking where the pre-drilled holes in this are. I didn't anticipate the mat looking noticeably better on the outside. We're thinking, oh, wipeable. Put the shiny to the outside. It'll be opaque because it's matte. And I never thought about it. I actually like the frosted side out and I don't really care for the other one. Yeah, it's surprising how different it looks. Yeah. I don't know if it comes through on camera in this light, but it, it looks totally different. In terms of cleaning, I think the shiny side would be the choice, but I actually just, I don't love it. Yep. I like the, the other way. It's funny, isn't it? After test fitting this inside, I really like it sanded on both sides. So I had buzzed the sander now to take that shine off. There was nothing really wrong with the way it was. I just didn't care for it. And when I put it in backwards and it was matte side, matte frosted side out, it looked better. But it started to rain. I don't know if you can hear it. But I would rather do this tomorrow. I don't want to rush or worry about being wet. So I'm going to put this away and we're going to come back and deal with attaching it tomorrow. Mischief managed. Ah. Originally I wanted to use the holes that held the microwave in. So we cut it with the allowances for that, but it kind of makes it off centered. And I don't know how I feel about that. I do like that it's frosted now and matte on the outside. Andrew located these little escutcheons in these like soft round head screws. And that's what we're going to try and use as attachment. So I need to clean it. You can see where we've put greasy handprints all over it. Incidentally, I accidentally ripped out the solder connections to the strip lighting here. So what we'll probably do is buy more strip lighting and tie in to the switch that's up there so that I can backlight it. But that's a project for another day. I need to see how it looks with the um, dish drying rack. I think this is an improvement, even though it didn't really meet my expectations. I think this also can go back into place and works just fine. I know I want to backlight it, but as I said, I already broke the solder on the other ones, wrestling stuff in and out of here. And I'm going to redo that. And I may as well just all sort of tie it into that switch if I can. So that's a project for a later date. I need to re-gummy sticky. I put clear sticky gummy stuff right here and right here to keep this from bouncing in transit. But I really think that this finishes out the hole. Next project.